What's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here, stepping in for a little bit on the live stream Monday, December 5th, 2022, about 4.18 p.m. California time. Out here along the West Coast, things are lighting up um, pretty nicely right now. Just have a another 3.9 coming into the California area. This originally came in as a 4.1 earthquake by the EMSC, so this has not been reviewed yet. It's currently under an automatic status, so this thing could get upgraded or downgraded depending on what the geologists look at here on the uh, earthquake activity. Either way, things kind of ramping up, uh, not only there along the western side here of the San Joaquin Valley, just south of Avenal, uh, but also up north here along the Calaveras Fault Zone. Uh, right about, uh, looks up maybe around the center section of it. We've seen a 3.7 come in too within the last hour or so, uh, followed up by uh, some aftershock activity, kind of migrating away from that quake. And now we got some movement further down south here. So we're going to watch the west coast right now uh, for some potential movement. Also some activity here just off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Things lighten up uh, pretty nicely uh, here, so could be... Looking at some activity kicking up, just be on guard. I'm uh, going to issue a watch out here currently for this uptick in activity here along the West Coast. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep an eye on things. We'll provide a little bit further update. I do want to go real quick here uh, and show you guys a notification here that I got from our, uh, uh, our email. We got our email back here. I don't know if you guys can read that. Hopefully you can. Uh, but this is from... Um, What's his name here? Uh, Christoph? I thought it was maybe Christopher, but it's not. It's uh, Christoph Kern, um, a volcano emissions project with the USGS there uh, in Washington. I originally emailed uh, Ken Hahn there with the HVO, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, in regards to all the SO2 emissions. And, uh, well, they wrote me back here. Uh, and it's Monday, so they actually wrote me back pretty quickly. Uh, it says, thanks for your interest in the gas emissions from Mauna Loa. Uh, my name is Christoph Kern, and I am a volcanic gas geochemist with the USGS. Together with several colleagues, I am tracking the gas emissions from the ongoing eruption. Um, our measurements indicate that there has been an excess of 100,000 metric tons of sulfur dioxide emitted into the free troposphere every day since the eruption began. Uh, these are indeed extra extraordinary amounts. The last time we saw similar emissions from a Hawaiian volcano was back in uh, 2018 with the eruption of Kilauea. Uh, though our measurement techniques were not yet as refined as they are today, the SO2 emissions associated with a Mauna Loa eruption of 1984 are likely have uh, likely to have been similar in magnitude. Once emitted into the atmosphere, sulfur dioxide can be oxidized to form sulfate aerosols, uh, the primary component of VOG, which is uh, volcanic air pollution. Um, as you mentioned, as I mentioned there, acid rain can also occur if precipitation falls through dense gas clouds. Rain samples collected downwind of the active fissures during the 2018 Kilauea eruption had pH values as low as 4, clearly showing the influence of the acidic gas emission. So I appreciate the email back. And by the way, most of the time here when we're looking at, uh, well, as far as acidic rain goes, anything below 4.5 on that pH value is considered uh, acidic, acidic there. So that's uh, kind of a big deal. Continue to watch it as that uh, SO2 emissions migrate around the planet. Anyway, we're going to uh, cover this and a little bit more in tonight's update. I just wanted to get out the notification right now on the activity kind of kicking up out here along the west coast. Of course, we did have some activity uh, further down along the Baja California area, also the Middle America Trench over the last 24 hours. So things are starting to pick up. Uh, pretty rapidly here along the West Coast area. We'll be back a little bit later tonight with a complete update, folks. Till then, have a good day. Peace out.